plant friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca, if you've never seen me before, this is my YouTube channel where we hang out and talk about house plants, all the things involved with house plants. It's really a lot to talk about. I have a bunch of plant chores that I need to get done and I thought that instead of doing them on my own, I would do them with you guys because for some reason, it's really entertaining watching other people get stuff done. So I'm gonna bring you along with me today as I'm getting some stuff done. I just went to Target because I did a deep clean on my bathroom this morning. I woke up and I just felt like I needed to do it. So I did a deep clean and then here I am and I'm feeling inspired to make that space more planty to just make it possible to put more plants in there because I'm realizing that it is a beautiful environment for plants, being that I have a big window in there, it's humid, it's a small space, so it can hold that humidity. You know, we love to green up our spaces. <laughs> so I went to Target and I wanna show you guys what I got, a little Target haul before we get into my planty chores. The first thing I got is this little over the toilet organizer. I've been thinking about putting in shelves above my toilet, but in order to do that, we would have to take down the towel rack, and my husband really doesn't want to do that. So I'm trying to compromise here, and hopefully the towel rack will like fit inside of these little grooves. I'm thinking that it's not going to happen, but we're going to try it anyway, and once I put this whole thing together, he might feel bad for me and just take down the towel rack anyway. So we're going to see what happens. So I have this. I'm definitely obviously going to be putting plants on all of this. I really like that there's a lot of space between these two shelves so I can put taller plants. I'm thinking I will put one of my newer plants here that is kind of tall. I'm really excited about it. And I don't think that my haul video has gone out yet because I'm still waiting for two more plants in the mail. So as soon as I get those, I will be able to haul um, all of my new plants because I've gotten quite a few as I've mentioned in the past. And after this haul video, I'm kind of gonna slow down on the plant buying because I went a little nuts with a few De La Plants YouTube paychecks. I'll admit it. The next thing I got is a lamp. Oh, those were the light bulbs. I got a lampshade for this lamp. If you saw my recent thrifting video, you will recognize this beautiful mid-century modern lamp. And I said that I wanted to get just a plain white lampshade for it because this honestly speaks for itself. I don't need to take away from this. So we're gonna see how this works out. I think it looks, what the? Does that look dumb or does that how it's supposed to look? Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I also have never tested this light even still. So I'm going to test it right now and see if it works because I did buy some light bulbs as well. Basically what's happening is I'm turning this and it just like flashes for a second like that and then it stops. But I think there are ways around this. There are like battery operated light bulbs I could just set on top of here and then just turn on the light bulb when I need it and turn it off as you do. <laughs> okay, so now that we know that that was a fail, I'm gonna show you the three other things that I got from Target. First, hair ties, some nail polish remover. And I also got rubbing alcohol because I was taking a shower this morning. I have some plants that are directly in front of me in the shower and I just was like looking at them. I was looking at my Hoya Linearis and then I noticed a little white fuzzy thing on it. And I'm pretty sure that my Linearis has mealybugs. I don't know how long they've been there and I haven't noticed them yet, but it looks like it was in like four different places and it's a very small plant. So I'm going to just take some rubbing alcohol to the pieces that are like fuzzy and white and see if they are mealybugs because if they are, then they will like turn brown and die. So I'm gonna look at them like on the actual plant and then I'm gonna get into their roots. So we'll also do that. I have to repot some stuff. Maybe I will get to that in this video and I will wear gloves this time because I got so many comments on my last video with this kind of theme, just doing plant chores. Everyone was like, oh, just wear gloves. And the thing is, I normally do wear gloves when I repot, but this time I just, I don't know why I didn't grab them. I was kind of in a rush. And yeah, that was the solution for a lot of people because I said I don't like my hands being dirty. And yeah, 
I need to wear gloves more consistently so I don't complain about that on the internet because what a weird thing to complain about. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I think I wanna treat that plant for mealybugs because now that I just talked about it, I feel a little bit of urgency for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So if you've ever had to treat mealybugs, comment down below, I don't know. <laughs> and if you have never and you don't know what to do, if that ever happens, this is what I would do. And this is my first time ever seeing mealybugs in person and they're pretty creepy kind of cute in comparison to other pests, I think, but still definitely like raises the hair on the back of my neck kind of vibe. And there's a lot of plants in the surrounding area of my linearis, so I'm just a little bit concerned that it passed itself into other places. Join me in the bathroom now. That's where the linearis lives. <laughs> linearis, linearis. Let's take you to the doctor, dear. Oh, girl, this is not a good situation. Okay. <sighs> this is full disclosure stuff, you guys. Nobody judge me here. <laughs> I'm going to be upset if I get comments that are rude, but I noticed this as soon as I could. Okay. Can you see on the plant? Let's get this in focus. Can you see on the plant where it is white right here? I am pretty certain that that is mealybugs and you can see it like all up this. And if it's not, it's not supposed to be there anyway, so I'm just gonna treat it. I am going to unpot this plant, as you can see me already doing. I forgot to hit record, so I got a little bit of a head start here. This will actually be a good thing to do because I have not seen the root system on this plant in a long time. And as we remember, there were a few pieces that just did not make it a little while ago. Oh, I think there is some mealybugs down in the root system too, like up here. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. If you see that, that just looks a little bit fishy to me. So I'm going to treat this and I'm going to give it new soil. And I have to be extra delicate because these plants are so sensitive. And I'm almost just, normally I would give up on a plant if I noticed something like this and it already had as much trouble as this one has had, but I kind of feel for it. It's a little bit more of a rare Hoya, at least where I live. So I don't know, I'm gonna just try to treat it, see if we have a turnaround. It's a little bit better of a view. So I'm just gonna get that a little wet. And I'm going to start treating at the tip and then move my way up. And no clue if this is gonna be in focus at all. I found mealybugs on this part, just like where the new leaves would grow or where the existing leaves grow, I found them in those parts. So I'm just like dabbing in those areas. Oh yeah, this one had it like on the leaf surface. I'm gonna wipe that off. I feel like I'm a doctor right now. Of all pests to have found on this plant though, I'm glad that it's mealybugs because they're pretty easy to see, as you saw. So it's nothing that's like super secretive and like under the radar. I have removed all of the visible mealybugs. I don't know how, but I ended up having like, literally like 10 of these tiny little pots. And I don't know why or how I ended up with all of them, but it is very lucky because more recently I've been using them for my little tiny propagations. And I think that it'll be a much better home for this plant. A little bit um, smaller of a home, a little bit better to grow into. All right, she is repotted in this tiny, tiny, already patinaed pot. How beautiful. So I'm just going to isolate this and keep an eye on it and make sure that the mealybugs don't come back. And now I'm going to inspect my other plants around this plant to make sure that it didn't jump onto anybody else. Okay, so none of my other plants seem to be affected by the mealybugs. I will definitely be keeping an eye on all of that. If you have any mealybug tips, definitely leave them down below because this is my first time experiencing them. Honestly, I feel pretty calm about it. It is a kind of icky feeling to find a pest on your plants, but I'm glad that it's mealybugs. I'm feeling kind of better about it because it's that, and also because it's not on a plant that I'm like, head over heels in love with. That one is kind of making me mad. So anyway, I am going to move on to building this shelf and I'm just gonna spare you the trouble of watching me do that and I'm just gonna put it together off camera and then show you what it looks like. 
Okay, so it is many hours later. That took me a long time, but it is ready. It is finished and it wasn't so bad to assemble. I just had to take Leo out for a walk about halfway through. So basically the shelf needs to be mounted onto the wall. And because I don't want to create more holes in the wall, I am just command stripping it. I'm not going to put anything super intense on it. I'll show you. That is basically the command strip situation. If you can see, the lighting is not awesome. It is dark outside now, but I figured I would give a little update because as a night owl, I tend to get like 30 times more productive at night and it's super inconvenient for a lot of things, especially like filming videos because I get all my bright ideas at yeah. night and I can't film them because it's dark. But I, whoa. <laughs> but I am going to um, press on and continue working on this shelf. Okay, I just realized I have no idea what I actually want to put on these shelves, so I'm going to do some bathroom shelf research and figure out what I actually want to put on these, and I will continue this video tomorrow. Okay, so good night. <laughs> okay, it is the next day, about 3.30 p.m. I've had a long day of work, and I'm going to take a moment to show you what I have been working on in my bathroom. I put some plants on the shelf, and this is by no means a permanent situation for a lot of them, but I'm just kind of experimenting with what I want to do with the shelf because I don't know if I want to put like normal things you would put on a bathroom shelf on here, like, you know, bath salts, little books for people to read. I don't know. I'm torn between doing something like that and keeping it just plants because I could definitely benefit from the space using this just for plants, but I don't know if it just looks like I'm running a greenhouse in my bathroom, which is kind of a mood, but let me show you. <laughs> there are some plants on this shelf, which I have not told you guys about yet. They will be in my haul, so I'm not gonna name them off. So I have bigger plants up there, and then I have some smaller plants down here. Now, the thing about this is I think that it looks funny that there's this huge gap underneath here. So I was thinking that I would put just some taller plants underneath here, maybe like one or two among a shorter plant. I really like having my Orbifolia on here because it takes it off of my bathroom counter, which is literally a disaster. Please don't judge me. I would just really like to have that off of the bathroom counter so that maybe I could put something else there or I can use my bathroom counter for bathroom counter stuff because this plant, as small as it is, it does take up a lot of space. So anyway, this is the situation as it is now, and I also feel like I should say, I moved my Hoya Phoebicalyx right here, and then my Hoya Obavada there. You can really only see their background because it's a little bit blown out. The command strips are holding up very nicely. It feels like very, very secure, so definitely glad that I did that. It was very flimsy before, and I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated about what I do with this shelf, but I'm honestly leaning towards just making it a plant shelf exclusively because I really like those. So, okay, I have to repot a plant. I don't have to, I get to repot a plant. And I want you to join me because why not? That's fun and yeah. I got a little Raven ZZ. You can see it's just a little guy. I got this at a plant swap and it has a little shoot coming in, if you can see that. <sighs> I think I mentioned in an earlier video that I've been really into getting duplicates of my plants that are small plants so that I can add it to my small plants so that they are bigger. This section of the video is having like all the bad views of me. <laughs> this is like really close up. I probably had like nine double chins this whole time. But anyway, um, this. <laughs> I'm going to pot them together because the more the merrier in one pot and hopefully we'll get some good vibes to put out some more new growth. So it's just going to be a little simple project. Ooh, look at that beautiful, is this a rhizome? It's like a little potato. 
That looks really nice. And you can see the little shoot. Very, very cute. That looks kind of... <laughs> Uh, all right, I need to grow up. <laughs> all right, if it isn't my camera dying, it is my memory card running out of memory. So I've switched to my iPhone temporarily. This video is all over the place. I hope that you like it still. But I have potted up my two ZZ Raven pieces. They look so cute together and I'm excited to see that little baby grow. I keep my little Raven back here. This looks like a mess right now. I swear it usually doesn't look so weird. All right, you guys, that is going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed today's mismatched crazy video, let me know down in the comments down below. And I also wanted to say, we are almost to 6,000 subscribers, which is so crazy. I'm so excited. I feel like I was literally just saying last week that we're almost to 5,000 and wow, you guys really have come through. So if you are a recent subscriber, definitely introduce yourself down below. Tell me how you found my channel. I would love to hear, you know, how you found me and thank you so much for subscribing. I'm really excited to have you a part of this community. Leo is so happy to have you. He's so tired from today. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I see you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.